Hey guys, so welcome back to Rockland part 13. Well, it's supposed to be part 13. But we brought us. I've run into a bit of a snag here. I don't know what happened. But it, and it's, I, I recorded the video probably like a week and a half ago. And for the life of me, I can't find it on my computer now. I honestly don't know what happened to it. It is locked now. So, I don't know what to do really about that. But, uh, so if I'm not where I was at the end of the last video, that's why. I really wish I could retrieve it, but I don't know where it is. I looked high and low for it on my computer. I ran a search. Because I know what I called the videos. And there's just... They're just not there. They're not in the recycle bin. They're not anywhere. And I don't remember deleting them. I'm just completely lost right now. And I hate it too because I feel like part 13 is the one that um, that had the really sweet wedding scene or whatever it was. And I feel bad now that we might have missed that. Possible taking a lot of damage, but given everything, I think we're doing okay. Sometimes you wish we had more to work with. This is amazing. Oh, hello. Can I help you with anything? I sure did. I made an entire set of armor out of paper. You want to see? Ah, uh, no, I think we're good, but, uh... I'm trying to remember what, what, what all I've done. Did have another marble for her, but I don't know if I might have given that to her already. So at any rate, I mean, I guess I could say, "Hey to mom." It's like, "Hello, dear. How are you?" Sometimes the biggest things we can do to help someone is just be there for them. Isn't that the truth? Oh, the bathroom's awfully dark now. The toilet's all set up just fine. So at this point, I'm not sure, like, what chapter I'm in on, or... Or... Let me see. Oh, here we go. Let me see. Okay, we got Winston to build a boat to Tony Island. Bring Peggy, 40 seal of berries. Make more five reasons, six fireflies. Two reeds now. We have no fireflies. We have 30 seal of berries. We have lights, part one. There's a lot of weird stuff here. Just gonna head up here. Hello, dear. I'm just visiting my husband again. I try to catch him when he's feeling more like talking, but. Well, you know how it goes. He has good days and bad days. It's trying to switch to my controller as an audio device. I'm like, no. Anyway, good days and bad days, right? I know what you mean. Oh, unfortunately. That's the, one of the worst things you can hear a kid say. Honestly. So when I was a kid, I never thought about good days and bad days. I mean, it's like I did, but not in the same way that adults or older people think of them. So for an adult, a good day is just not physically feeling pain all the time, you know? Or feeling like you're able to move at all. You know, for a kid, a good day might be like playing video games all day or something. Which 
trying our best to patch things up after what happened, but we don't have the best materials right now. If the patients in this room would stop trying to sneak into the area behind here, maybe we could get this wall fixed. He keeps taking construction supplies to go digging in the mud outside. I think he's looking for buried treasure. Huh. Yeah, what's up, dude? What are you drinking? Does it smell that bad? It's a new type of tea I've been experimenting with. The nurses don't seem too thrilled about me drinking experimental things. But I don't care. The folks here don't seem thrilled with a lot of the things I do. You need something? Did you hear about the thief? I've been telling the nurses for a long time that someone's been sneaking around here after hours. I heard they were stealing food from the cafeteria kitchen. Which means they obviously have some way of getting into parts of the hospital that we patients don't have access to. I mean, what, were they crawling through the vents? Do they now know how a TB dinner feels? It's actually pretty small to fit through there. But no one around here listens to me anyway. They all seem to think I've lost my mind. Alright, tell me about folks here. I'm not one for gossip. Oh. Second note, based on the results of Kisaburu's brain scan, we believe the, med the metastases to be the cause for his delirium. My recommendations to begin administering antipsychotic medication. Jeez. October 21st was found climbing ladder in construction zone 5B. When questioned, replied that he intended to make a hole in the ceiling. Did you just make a reference to a game that came out a year after this? Because in level 5B of Celeste, that's part of, like, a speedrunning trick you can use to skip part of the level. It's by going through the ceiling in a way that you normally wouldn't be able to do. October 28th was found in the yard digging in the mud. Completely unresponsive when questioned, appeared to be unaware of location and time. November 2nd, carrying bags of... Was it poopsies? Did anything new happening back here? I don't know if I need to, like, revisit all these places. The new patient lounge is still being built. Please come back later. I'm pretty sure I've already talked to her, which is kind of why I skipped that just now. Let's try it. I'm assuming it'll stay hot forever. But just in case it doesn't, I'm gonna take it right over to him. What the heck do you think you're doing in my room, kid? Well then, no. Uh, thanks. Anytime, George. What is your job? My job? Are you serious? I'm a retired pilot. I used to run a business selling airplane pots. I even built my own plane. Haven't been up in ages, though. What's your favorite food? <laughs> I hate everything now. Nothing tastes good anymore. Uh-oh, do you have coronavirus? I eat a lot of crab cakes with real chunks of crab, not that fake stuff. Can I help you somehow? Help me? Kid, I don't think anyone can help me right now. Yeah. You're not gonna leave until I give you something to do, eh? Okay then, you see that broken music box over there? You look like a budding engineer. See if you can fix it for me. 
that only keep the key occupied long enough. Alright, we're speed running this now, boy. Treating the guards just blank. <laughs> How do you treat grumpiness? I don't know. What a day. Oh. Sounds like somebody needs to go home. The old man's bathroom. Sink is full of water. Just as we left it. Come on, my room later to check on me. Okay. On that case, I guess I'll go back to my room. Wait, this ain't my room. What am I doing? Can't water the plant. It's been a while since we did that. If ever. <laughs> Let's see, what are these guys doing up here? Oh, Cora's up here now. What are you guys doing? Oh, hey, you moved. Yeah, some friends and I are working together to do something special for the people on our floor here. We call ourselves the Towel Cape Heroes, and we're on a mission. A mission? Well, you know how the old patient lounge got destroyed. Yeah. I'm not sure if you've heard, but... They finally finished rebuilding it. Oh, that's great news! Of course, it's pretty empty right now, so we're looking for donations so we can fill it with fun stuff. You can help us out by buying items from me or the two guys standing next to me. They're pretty cool. See, I don't think I have much money left after buying that coffee, though. Chess set, 15. So what is this, like in Xenoblade, where you rebuild Colony 6 or something? Wow, Samurai Helmet, oh my gosh, jeez. Maybe. Nah, I think I'm okay here. There's another bed just randomly out here. Grab this one here. I don't know how I missed these earlier. Oh, it's fireflies, hey. Yeah, cool. So I'm gonna get some more of those. Is that bear is still over there? Get these. Ah, maybe we do need to talk to the bear first. Do you build us that boat? Ten pieces of bamboo and a sail. Ah, okay. Sure, sure. Daniel the seamstress, you say? Is it gonna be free? Do I have to get the parts for that, I wonder? So, what's it like not having a tail? Do you fall over a lot? Hey! Oops, sorry. I mean, how are you? Ugh. Point to our northwest of the village, yeah. Okay, so this is the closet, by the way. Or it's like the other way back, I suppose. Probably just the normal way back. Yeah. That's easy enough. Have I noticed anything strange about the hospital? Uh, not really. A while back, I started noticing cryptic little messages written all over the place. And last night, I saw someone go into that closet south of Tony's room, but... But I was told that closet has been locked since before I started even working here. Pretty sure they were not staff. What do they look like? 
only saw him at the corner of my eye but for, for a second, so unfortunately I could not say. Uh, I gotta go. <laughs> that may be the step in the right direction we just needed there. Actually, I got distracted from the whole sale thing. I didn't mean to come back here again. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. Uh, in the next part... Oh, that really threw me off now. I'm not having part, the real part 13. I'll keep looking for it, and if I can find it, I'll definitely put it up. But for the time being, I don't know what happened to it. I hope I can either find it eventually or something, but... Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Anyway, we'll see you next time on Raccoon. Take care, y'all.